It's February 22nd, 2020. And these are my bees that I keep on the farm. I haven't been here for a couple of weeks. I'm a little bit tired because I had to snowshoe to this spot. These guys look slightly buried. And I'm here today just to, I was gonna throw some, uh, bury the hides in snow. And I'm gonna pile snow up all around them just to keep them more insulated, more of a windbreak. But obviously those ones don't need it. Well, crap. I didn't realize this hive was so buried, and it must have been buried for a while, and that top entrance is totally clogged. Yet I can still hear them. <laughs> wow. So I had no idea that this hive was close to being buried in snow and it appears to have been buried in snow for probably at least a week maybe two weeks i haven't been here for a couple of weeks and i don't know how long it's been buried and uh, this was their only entrance and they've clogged it up and it smells like like a dead dog it just stinks to high heaven and so the bees they probably had warm days since it got clogged up and uh, they couldn't get out and the warmth would uh, trigger their cleansing flights instinct and they did have nowhere to go and they just probably pooped all inside the, the hive near the entrance there. I also had this screen on top, uh, on and over the entrance and you can see the bees are just clogged that up. Those are drones too and you can just see they're covered in feces. That's pretty gross. So what I think happened is these bees got uh, buried completely and they tried to get out and these drones got stuck in the quarter inch mesh and they, and they clogged the entrance and uh, that's it. Basically a disaster. That's, that's one di disadvantage to using quarter inch mesh. Even though it keeps the shrews out, it can keep the bees in uh, at some t certain time, times anyway. And if you do it, you probably need to keep an eye on the bees all the time. Otherwise, you could probably end up with a situation like this. And if they've got feces inside the hive, it's just going to be full of, uh, just full of disease. And I'm going to keep that top entrance open. And if a rat or shrews get in there, then that's, I'm just going to have to hope they don't. Because, um, there's, what, for whatever reason, there's just so many drones in this hive that uh, the drones keep getting stuck in that top quarter inch mesh. My ratchet strap is, is clogged up with ice. So I can't even open it up. Oh, there's another drone, another drone there, right? Where are all these drones coming from? That's the problem right there. I guess they had so much honey going into the winter that they didn't kick out the drones because they usually kick out the drones because they can't afford to feed them over the winter. Um, so I guess I, I guess there's, this hive is probably full of honey. It's probably honey full of poop now. Anyway, I'll just leave them alone and hopefully they'll clean that up and. But I don't know, it, that looks really bad. It stinks. I suspect there's a lot of dead bees in there. A lot of dead feces covered bees in there. It smells like rotten capelin in somebody's garden. I think it was a combination of the, the mesh and the snow covering the entrance that eventually clogged them up with drones and dead bees. And the mesh just got completely clogged and they were completely stuck in there. But the snow had them stuck in there too, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's a big mess. You can just see these feces everywhere. Uh, all those bees are covered in feces. They're all dead. A lot of drones. If they were trying to get out for a few days for cleansing flights and it was warm, that warmth will get their bodies going. It'll get the poop flowing. And it'll, then they had nowhere to go for the poop to go. And they just pooped all over the inside the hive. And it's probably a big stinking mess in there. The uh, ratchet strap there, it's, it's frozen solid. It's just one big chunk of ice. Next time I come by here, I might come by with a, with a bottle of vinegar and I might just spray around that, that hive just to clean that vinegar, clean all the feces out of the way. And if I can, I'll pop the top off and see what a mess, what kind of a mess they've got inside there. If I could, I would probably just dismantle this hive completely, knock it down to a single deep, and just take all the clean frames and the clean bees and just uh, just put them in something clean and safe. Anyway, and I'm rolling the dice on that hive down there because it doesn't have 
a top entrance and that top entrance doesn't have any screen over the entrance so another rat could come in to fin for it and it stinks like garbage so it's probably going to attract a rat but I can't risk um, putting mesh on it if, drone, if it's full of drones and they're going to get clogged up again and especially if the snow blows and covers that entrance again. And here's a bee. This is a bee that got out from our cleansing plate. So there's the poop. And here's the bee. Come on, buddy. Yeah, they get out and they just sort of... Anyway. They sort of die. It's, it's natural. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah, they gotta... They gotta crawl a bit to get out of that mesh. But, uh... They're doing it. They're not clogged up or anything, so that's the main thing. Oh yeah, look at that, they're looking good. Those are healthy looking bees too. Nice. <clears throat> Perfect.